Erev Tov. It's a beautiful evening here in Ra'anana, in front of Yad Lebanim. One could only imagine the shock and bewilderment that Yaakov Avinu experiences when he wakes up the morning after his wedding and he realizes he's actually married the wrong woman. Because next to him is Leah instead of Rachel. And what does Yaakov do? He runs to his now father-in-law Lavan and he says, Lavan, lama rimitani, why have you deceived me? To which Lavan responds, Lo ya'asekein bimkomenu, latet hatsi'ira lifnei habechira. What is Lavan saying to Yaakov? Lavan is saying in our town, in our location here, it is not the custom to give the younger daughter before the eldest daughter. Now Ramban Nachmanides points out something very interesting about Lavan's language. Lavan could have said, I made a decision. This is a decision I've made. This is my family custom to not allow such a thing to happen. But instead he speaks in plural terminology. Lo yaase kein bin komenu. And Ramban suggests that what Lavan is doing is very deceitful. Because Lavan is saying, Yaakov, it's not my fault. This is not really my decision. I've been forced to do this because of my environment, because of the place that we live in, because of my sviva. There are gormim acherim, other things causing me to make this decision. And I can't really be accountable for it. You see, people like Lavan, they take credit for their own successes, but they blame others for their mistakes. But truly great people, they pass on the success. They thank others for the success, their own successes, and they take responsibility for their own behavior. They hold themselves accountable. This is the true character of Lavan. In our own lives, we must strive for better. We must strive to take full accountability, full responsibility for our actions. And if we do so, if we do this, we will enrich the place that we live, we will improve the place that we come from, and we will make the world a better place. Wishing you and your family Shabbat Shalom in the Barach.